and welcome to a quick installation video this is uh, version 7 of PD Pro Howler edition and actually not released yet but probably very close to the release candidate uh, release candidate 14 what I'm gonna do is run this as administrator that's gonna help at the very end of the uh, installation if you want to actually have it run straight from this installer um, not absolutely necessary, but if you want to save the grief of an error message, you can do it that way. So, run it as administrator, go through uh, maybe using the default location for where it installs, um, what uh, name you want to give it in the start menu folder. I would just stay with the default and create an optional desktop, uh, desktop icon. And uh, let's go. All right, so that's a very quick couple of clicks and uh, perhaps uh, a minute or so to uh, extract everything. It will depend on the speed of your system, the speed of your hard drive, uh, uh, the type of processor you have, you know, how much caching you can do and all that sort of things. So the overall performance and speed. There's quite a number of files. There's, there's probably over 100 or 200 files, maybe even more. I don't actually have a, a detailed count of them right now. Um, and uh, all of these files, you see some of the names here. Some of these are standalone executables that actually represent plugins and filters and special effect components or add on utilities. And uh, they all get extracted into the uh, final destination folder here. And uh, then uh, towards the end of the installation, there's also some registry items that get set to point to the right location. Usually that goes without a hitch, but you might have UAC or an antivirus, anti-spyware program interfere with that. Um, there's also some OCXs that get installed and uh, or registered. And if they are currently already in use by another program, it might prevent the proper installation. But normally this is what it should be, your experience, quick and painless. And uh, towards the end, after finishing the installation, there's this new screen that wasn't in earlier editions. And what that one does is uh, give you an option to uh, just add the registry key so that it can run it um, with proper permissions, uh, run as administrator. You can do that later on too, but if you do this now, uh, it'll be done. And uh, at this point, you have an option to run the program directly. Now, this may fail if you didn't run the installer as administrator to begin with, because it would need to elevate it. And the error message is a little bit cryptic, but it does say something to the effect that uh, you need the, the process needs to be elevated. Uh, and, and that means you need to run it as, as administrator. It's not an absolute must, but it will help in uh, some installations, some scenarios. So when you're done, there you go, uh, start it, and um, ready to howl. And here just a quick word on what you can do if for any reason that thing did not actually uh, get enabled with the registry. So what you can do is you can go to uh, the properties, right click on your icon perhaps on the desktop or if you go to the start menu you can see it there too. You Instead of launching it you right click so instead of opening you select uh, properties in there and usually what you'll see is there is a tab for compatibility modes and um, one I have here is run this program in compatibility mode for Windows XP Service Pack 2. That may be all you need to make it uh, smooth, but sometimes you also, depending again on, on all sorts of other parameters and other things running, uh, UAC, antivirus, anti-spyware, yada yada, uh, you might need to give it a higher privilege level and run this as administrator. So if you had not made that choice at the very end of the installation, it would probably still have this one unchecked and you can do and fix that right there so from now on it will do that and when you double click the program or the icon it will run it uh, in ad as administrator and that's probably the best way to uh, avoid running into problems like uh, not being able to use the temp folder or create a subfolder in the temp folder or other types of resources and that's it for the installation